Alright, so these are going to be a few tips to help you just get a bit better at Lethal Company and just like, in general, help out your experience. I'm going to go over uh, how to determine how many bees you get uh, on a moon, like beehive spawn. A general overview of just like the scan, like what's included in all that, and then also I'm going to discuss a little trick with keys on Stormy, and it is not the trick you're thinking of. So to start off, we are going to go march. Obviously bees, right? I'm going to show off bees. I'm going to put my terminal close because I'm solo and it takes time to load. But basically, how this works is you're going to pull your lever to you know march assurance vow, your three B places, or experimentation, I guess, if for some reason. I don't know, you could tell if you have bees on there. But anyways, <laughs> bruh, you're going to go to march, right? bees highest chance we're going to scan right as the seed the seed pops up like right as it you know how the seed pops up right as it disappears we're going to scan and then we're going to scan again about a, a couple seconds later and so what it'll do is the first scan tells us how much is inside the facility how many scrap there how much scrap there is and then the next scan will tell us the total objects and we can use quick math to figure out how many bees there are so we're going to pull the lever and go right on the terminal and type scan, hit enter, 17 object, scan again. I was too late. Uh, on solo, it's pretty difficult. You know, you have to be really fast because what you need to do is scan like right after that seed, random seed thing goes away. So we're going to try again here. Fifteen objects. Scan again. Eighteen. So that means we have three beehives outside a ship. Eighteen minus fifteen is three. And so that means, you know, there's three beehives on the moon. And then you can check that way the number of beehives. Um, obviously, if the number doesn't change, uh, you are either too late on the scan or you don't have bees. Uh, it is so much easier to do this when you have multiple people trying to load uh doing this solo your timing like as you saw right there it's very like tight the it does not give you much time to type in scan and be ready to hit enter right as the random seed goes away so just be mindful of that now a few things to go over with scan okay right, so we have a few things to go over with just the scan in general you know, 18 objects, that just means there's 18 objects outside of the ship. Um, the approximate value just, like, means nothing. You, you cannot really get any information from this. Um, just, like, don't worry about the approximate value of the items. And if you really want to know, I think bodies are always five. But uh, things that count as objects, bodies can count as objects. Obviously, any scrap, beehives. Uh, something important to note is that on ship can mean like out here so if i take this out of ship right and then i go over here to the terminal and do a scan it should say 19 objects 19 but then say i put it like you know on the back ship like pretend these are bees right bees you like to put on the back of ship the that item counts as on ship now so we're back at 18 objects that's something really important to know uh, keys. Keys do not count to these 18 objects. It does not track keys. Uh, it also doesn't track clipboard, the, like, training manual, and it doesn't track, like, sticky note, stuff like that. Uh, so, you don't have to worry about that if that's outside of the ship. It won't track, you know, these objects in here either. If I take one of these out. It's only, like, scrap. Yeah, it's only scrap. Now, another thing is, with the scan feature is you'll see sometimes it just says scan items that is because a shotgun is outside ship so you see i have a shotgun here i scan whatever it works then i go and put this outside the ship now it will say scan items see that so it doesn't necessarily mean that there's a nut outside ship but it means you have a shotgun outside ship now obviously if you know you haven't brought a shotgun from like outside ship or if you have every shotgun you know of accounted for and you see the scan items it does mean there's a nut inside right 
there's a nut inside the facility. So like I said earlier, player bodies, they count on scan. But if the player gets eaten by a giant or worm, the items the player was carrying and the player body itself, they will not count towards scan anymore. So like, say it's 18 objects with a body outside, uh, or like, you know, it's 18 objects and then a player gets eaten by a giant, it'll still be 18 objects, it won't go to 19 objects outside ship. Same thing with the objects that a player's carrying, it won't track those. So player's carrying three objects, it'll go to 15 objects. Because those three items are now just gone. And that should be about it for scan. Um, there's a lot to think about here, so if I may have missed something about scan, ask the questions you have in the comments, and I will try to answer them for you. Alright, moving on. We have keys and stormy. So, obviously you have your keys, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, we all might be aware that putting keys outside during a stormy day will, you know, attract lightning and there can only be so much lightning on the map. So carrying some objects back uh, that are metal, it might be a lot easier if you have these lightning rods outside. But you can actually kind of remove lightning for future days. So if you land on a stormy planet and you take metal objects from inside, these are mainly going to be your keys because those are the only things you really want to leave behind. I guess maybe whoopee cushion because whoopee cushion's metal, lol. You will take out the keys from inside the facility and just put them anywhere outside. Just put them off to the side outside where people won't get killed from the lightning striking them. And then you take off whatever ship. So it's good to have like three or four keys if possible from inside the facility. It doesn't work with keys that you have inside the ship. And so once you have these four keys outside facility and you take off, you go to your next stormy planet. It will still think those keys are, exist, and so lightning won't strike as much. In fact, it usually won't strike at all. And so that's a good tip for, you know, if you want to start using jetpacks and carrying, like, registers home, they just won't get struck by lightning, and it's really nice. If you'd like any further explanation on that, please let me know in the comments below. But that's about it for these uh, quick couple tips I have for you now, and I will see you all tomorrow.